So I showed you guys this before where I'm gonna have these all over the edges. But if you notice, this one isn't actually a cabinet, but secret button. What's going on? I'm Sam and today I need to get this cabinet done in the schoolie bathroom. So the cabinet door is dry after painting. I did spray it and made the video about it. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. The only thing I'd actually do different is spray it from the start instead of rolling on the primer and the couple layers before this. I think it would have had a really awesome finish if I had sprayed this for every layer, but at least I know for the future. So originally I was gonna install the door on this cabinet, just like I did on this one where it would hinge up. But the problem is I ended up putting this medicine cabinet in higher than I was first going to because this vanity light was gonna be above the cabinet. I wanted this high enough I could see it easily so the vanity light is now installed on the side, which means this door cannot hinge upward. It could hinge outward, but it would hit the light after a little bit. And I could have it on slides into the shower, but I really don't want my door going into the shower. So I was going through my escape room box and yeah, I actually have a box of things I was buying for an escape room that never ended up happening, but some of the stuff has come in handy. Like I use the baby latches, the magnetic safety latches for kids for my cabinets. I'm not sure how much I like them, but I have some other locks in here that I could use to make a secret door. And I have these super short hinges that I'm actually gonna make this cabinet door drop down. So I plan on putting them in here like this. There's gonna be some sort of catch and then they'll just drop down like that. And I want this to be kind of hidden. I actually have an electric actuator lock I have some electric like reed switch type things, contact switches, or I could have a secret switch that you hold a magnet to to release it. I also have this cool looking key lock that uses a triangular key, but it looks like I'm not using any of that. I found these pretty cool cabinet switches for RVs on Amazon. I ordered them and I think I'm going to have one of these flush mounted on the bottom. So you would reach under here, push that hidden switch, the door will slide down and then you have this storage area accessible. But that's enough talking and planning. I need to get some tools out and just start getting this done. So I got out the oscillating tool and made short work of cutting out two notches for these drawer sides. So now these slots are in. They fit the hinges pretty well. Now I just need to get something back here to mount them to. So I cut some two by fours down, screwed them into the bottom and sides. And then I was able to add the drawer slides using this little latch as a spacer just to make sure they're both even. I added one screw at the top so I had a little bit of wiggle room in case I didn't have these completely parallel. I traced the bottom part onto the door before taking that out and actually attaching it. So this is when I realized if I screw these in, I'm gonna go straight through this particle board. I don't know what I'm gonna do to fix this. One option would be move these over to where the screws would go into the wood, but I would have to take material off of these two by fours already installed. That's a bit of a challenge. I could also recess these further and then use a standoff screwed into the thicker parts here to move the hinge out and attach the hinge here. That might be what I have to do, but I'm gonna look into one other option first. So first I tried using washers as spacers. No matter how many washers I used, it was still poking through this board or it wasn't really attaching at all. So I realized I wasn't gonna be able to just use a blind screw. This stuff is too thin and weak. So instead I used screws to temporarily hold it on and kind of mark the location of where the screws will be. So this is after those slides are attaching. It's the first test fit. And honestly, I was surprised everything ended up fitting well. Like usually something will not be parallel or set right, but this fit first try. 
So now that everything's sliding smooth, it's a good time to add extra screws to hold these slides in place. So right after that, I got rid of the screws that are holding these slides on, and I switched them out for some Chicago screws. I had these laying around, and they ended up being a pretty much perfect fit. I don't necessarily like that they're exposed, but it does hold everything together, and it works awesome. Next was just drilling a hole for the latch. And this latch, I didn't really have a template, so I had to figure it out on my own, but I did make it work. I had to spend a lot of time fiddling with this thing, and I'm not a fan of these, but I think if they're painted white or I can change them out for white screws, uh, it will look a lot better. But really, when you look at this, you can't tell anything's wrong. Even on the bottom, you can't really see. Even though there is a gap where the drawer slides are, it just looks like sloppy craftsmanship, honestly. I ended up having to trim a little bit off of this latch, and I did take out some more wood. This was to fit the locking mechanism on the other side. I tried to get around doing this, but this was really the only way I could make it work. So it looks a little rough, but once it's closed, I really do like it. And even if it does look a little rough, it doesn't open enough for you to really even see that part. So what you do is you hit this button. Like right now it's solid, it's not going anywhere. Push this button and it slides right down. I kind of had in my mind that these drawer slides would be a little looser and this would just kind of drop down on its own, but it's probably better and safer that it doesn't. You can see it's not closed all the way. So you pop it up and then you can lock it. You can kind of wiggle this side so maybe someone would know what's up. And of course, anyone watching this video will see. But I'm super happy with my secret cabinet. And since it locks like this, it's not like it's gonna open while I'm going down the road. So I am very happy with this. Like, this is the kind of stuff I've always wanted to do and I finally have a chance to do it. Uh, I did not plan on this originally. This is just kind of one of those happy coincidences. I did have to kind of modify things because I wasn't planning on it. But overall, I'm happy with it. So this turned out really good. I might play with it to make that action a little smoother. I don't know what it's getting caught on. I think that latch isn't super smooth. I'll look at that. So after filming this video, I had some extra time. I decided to go to Kings Island for the actual opening day. I was able to get food with my food pass. I got to take advantage of all this stuff while I have it. So I started editing this video sitting outside and taking in all the sights. I got it like 90% edited and it was really awesome. Right after that, I jumped on a couple of my favorite rides. I got on Orion, Mystic Timbers, and then of course, Diamondback. Came back to my car so I could film a few voiceovers. And now that this video is done, I'm about to head back into the park and enjoy the rest of the day. So that was a lot of fun and I'm really glad I was able to go today. I probably won't be back for a little bit because I really need to concentrate on this bus build and a couple other projects. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Griffin, you had to be alone for four hours but you did so good, huh? You did so good. You're a good boy. I'm sorry I left you. You're a good boy.